Tom Phillips, you went to Bungie to play the Taken King. Yes, I did. Here is you playing it, and I, is that your ship? That is my lovely it's, little ship. It's a lovely, very blue ship. Thank you. This, how is that your character? How does that work? So Bungie cloned uh, my character and put it on their test server so I could pick up uh, as if I was playing the game on launch day, which is today. Mm -hmm. um, but I was not, and when I left, I had to say goodbye to all of my... Lovely oh things that I had acquired. That over creates my a day. horrible image of them creating this clone that they eventually killed. Like that's that's it's awful. It's very dystopian, very very destiny. Yeah. And uh, what did you think of the Taken King? We're specifically talking about the new area, the Dreadnought, right? Yes, we're just flying into it now. So, Oryx is command carrier. He's the big new boss of Taken mm -hmm. King. He's the Taken that's King. Cool. He's the daddy of Crota, yep. the guy that you beat up last autumn. Uh, Presumably, he's not very happy about that. Yeah, he's, he's got some issues with okay. you. So um, we, at this point, have beaten the story campaign, which we can't show you. Okay. And the story campaign uh, introduces you to the tip of the iceberg of the Dreadnought. And after the story is done, uh, which Bungie's said is only sort of halfway through what Taken King has to offer, you are left to um, roam around, discover a bunch of new quests, and uh, really unlock the secrets of what is mm, a quite compact, but really, really dense and uh, intriguing new location. So this is, is fairly new for Destiny to, to kind of put this exploration of a single area after you complete the campaign, right? Yeah, very new. So the previous two add-ons uh, were just sort of extra story bits. Mm -hmm. uh, this, they're calling a full expansion, is a bit different. Um, and the Dreadnought itself is an area quite unlike the others in the game. So Mars, Venus, Earth, the Moon, you could sort of fly around and uh, they were quite open. Yep. The Dreadnought is very compact. You're traveling around on foot. Um, there is still public events uh, that you can do with other people and there are still sort of uh, lots of different areas but you are now exploring and there are so many little collectibles and hidden things and keys which are so like chests. And how does it encourage you to do that? What, what kind of stuff is, is on offer? What do you find as you're exploring? So what you're seeing right now is that um, I found um, an item which unlocked a chest mm -hmm. and a room, right? or, or a room which unlocked like I don't know some console and uh, suddenly all of these guys turned up and I'm killing this boss guy and then I think the end of this is that I get something else and it continues this sort of quest chain and at the end of it um, you're guaranteed to get uh, a new piece of gear or something and there are all of these sort of hidden chains worth of uh, collectibles and items and things to sort of make your almost sounds client stronger. a bit Guild Wars 2-ish like stumbling upon these these quest chains for exploration. Yeah, yeah, and it's a real refreshing thing to sort of be given this really interesting place for you to go explore on your own or with friends and work things out for yourself. That is after like a really cool cinematic story. They don't just dump you in this world and be like, okay, yeah, go and find really things to do. This sure. is like, oh shit, there's like a whole extra load of things to do in uh, this area. So I've just got this worm feeder rune. Right. No idea what that does. Okay. No Good. idea. Yeah. You want to not have a clue what the hell's going on and to be able to wander around a big, pretty-looking, rather broken ship and just yeah, so stumble upon stuff. This bit in particular, that bit uh, we just saw, was um, the Cabal, which are another race in Destiny. Uh, they're not too pleased by Oryx turning up either, so they right. crashed another ship into the Dreadnought as like a, to force a way in. They just decided Man. to crash the ship in. And this is another random thing that I found. Yeah, is I had no idea what was going on here, but loads of things started coming in. And again, when I uh, defeat them, I got some other stuff. And so, you, is it like, is there even map markers that you're kind of being directed to this area, or have you just walked in here completely? I walked in here completely. Accident. This, by the way, is the new uh, super for the warlock. Oh, it's um, just the new subclass, right? Yes, so the Warlock has gained, uh, each of the three classes has gained a new subclass, and the Warlock one is Arc, which is sort of lightning energy, and it makes you look like the Emperor from It Souls. looks great. I have, I have no idea how, how viable it is, but it looks very pretty. It is almost a little bit OP. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Is this the direction you wanted Destiny to start taking? So, uh, I just got a Key of Maggots. No idea what that does. What does, okay. Key yeah. of Maggots. It's purple, which suggests it's, it's good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, legendary. I've, I've played MMOs before. <laughs> and also it spawned this orb, which, spoilers, I had no idea what to do with, so I just run around for a bit. 
But again, I was probably supposed to go take That's it great. somewhere else. That's great. Although when you when you you know you start playing today, it is launch day. You'll start seeing guides start rolling out, YouTube videos explaining what the hell sure. all of this is. There's something special about the first day in a new bit of an MMO and just wandering around and playing. Yeah, yeah. although happens. it's not an MMO, it's a shared world shooter. Sorry, course. yeah, that would be my bad. So to, to answer your earlier question, yes, uh, it is. And after. Uh, Cool cinematic campaign which actually tells a story and has character and humor, things which the vanilla version of Destiny <laughs> uh, lacked a bit of. Um, having somewhere to explore and somewhere that I think that players will really enjoy spending a lot of time with afterwards with actual like things to do and things to work out and just a cool space to hang out with friends. Yeah, this is exactly what Destiny needed. Another new destination and the most detailed one yet. Uh, as we said at the beginning of this video, we couldn't show anything from the the campaign or the, the story for obvious reasons, but you've kind of talked about the the expansion in more detail and specifically about that stuff in your written preview, right? Yes, it's up today and uh, has all the impressions from about 15 hours with the game, so quite a lot of time. But too long didn't read. Is it good? Yes. Thank you. こんな話で全部してしまうとなんか夢がないような気もするいいですか一旦しますこのあのクリボークリボーあの軍馬が出てくるんですけどこれ実は最初いなかったんですよ最初からあのクッパが出てきてでクッパを踏んで甲羅に